Hey, y'all. Welcome back. My name is Shamika, and this is Check the Rhymes. Y'all, I don't know how many of you out there read books. I'm sure there's a few of you. But have you read the book Queenie by Candace Cardi Williams? So I read it when I had had surgery a couple years ago, and I honestly hadn't thought anything else about it until it was announced that a series was coming out. So then I was like, oh, yes, I'm going to watch it. So anyway, <laughs> that's what we're talking about today. Queenie is a series and it premieres Friday, June 7th. All eight episodes are dropping at once on Hulu. So there is no let me watch and wait till next week. Let me watch, wait till next week. No, you can binge watch that thing over the weekend if you want to. But again, it premieres Friday, June 7th. All eight episodes will drop at one time on Hulu. So in the house today are two of the series stars, Dion Brown and Bella. We're going to talk about what we can expect on this season. I don't know if it's a limited series. I don't know if there's going to be more seasons, but we're going to talk about it. Stay tuned. Oh, hey, Hi, welcome to Check the Rhymes. How are y'all? Right, how are you? Y'all are so pretty. Thank you. <laughs> I'm super excited about Queenie. I read the book a couple of years ago when I, I had surgery, I had time to read and I read it. And so I was excited to see that it's become a series. So for the people that don't know, can you first tell me about your character and what the series is about? Kind of like what your character will be doing in the in the series. We can start with you, um, Dion. Yes. She doing, she's doing everything. She's doing all, all of it. Um, yeah, so she's a 25-year-old Caribbean woman. She's going through her quarter life, and we're just seeing her, we're seeing her navigate, we're seeing her navigate her mid-20s. Um, we're seeing her developmental process, kind of going from a young adult to a, an adult adult who's mm -hmm. meant to be good at adulting, who's maybe realizing that she's not that good at it. Um, we're seeing her... <laughs> Her relationships with men and her friends develop and a lot of it is to do with her self-perception mm -hmm. okay what about you bella what about your character um i play queenie's best friend um she is her longest seven best friend and i'm the definition of a ride or die i'm the definition of supporting women's rights and wrongs when it comes to queenie um i also give it to her straight real uncut because no chaser. no chaser and i think sometimes queenie's a little bit scared to ask for advice because she knows that um Cheske is going to give her so maybe something that she doesn't want to hear but she mm -hmm. knows that it always comes from a fantastic place so i serve as her you know her cody yeah we always need friends like that that are going to give it to us the real raw whether we want to hear it or not <laughs> So what drew you to both of you to this this role? Because I don't know if you saw some of the social media, like once it was announced that this was coming out, some people were saying there was a lot of criticism, especially from some other writers that were saying that they didn't like the trajectory of Queenie's, um, just how she was navigating life. But again, she's in her 20s, so it's understandable. <laughs> But, you know, what do you guys, what made you want to do the role? We can start with you, um, Dion. Yeah, I think for me, it was just how multifaceted she is. She's a person. Yeah. Um, there's obviously a lot of archetypes and, archetypes and tropes around her. But at the end of the day, she's she is a person and she's having a human experience. So, yeah, yeah I think that's it, really. <laughs> it's <was> just <laughs> like how best can I dissect this character um, and just give, 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 uh, your focus to that to her mm -hmm. um, I think while the book can be frustrating for some people to think that there's a 20 something year old that has their life together right now in the universe <laughs> is the most illusional thing that you could ever think um, right and I think also <laughs> I love that people love art so much and that we forget that these are fictional characters mm -hmm. but if we were to air out some of your tea <laughs> it would not be cute yeah. So just that relax. Yeah. yeah. Watch the show. Yeah. And calm down. Also, I think it's important <laughs> to remember that, you know, as much as the character resonated with mm -hmm. a lot of black women and women in general, mm -hmm. it's one woman's story. It's not every single woman's story. Right. That's okay. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you guys for that because I think people do forget that it is not this is a fictional character. 
and characters. And so, but I'm sure everybody can see a little bit of themselves when they were in their twenties, just a tiny bit, you know, exactly. and so in their, when they're in their big grown age, over 40 can probably see it too. <laughs> that's that's when we have to be a little bit more judgmental. Yeah. That's when you say, okay, you've had a couple of years now. What's going on? Here? Okay. That, that's when we do it. But <laughs> right. So one of the things, one of the themes that I am interested in, and which I also noticed in the book, um, was microaggressions. Can you talk about that and other themes that we'll see in the series, um, Dion? Um. Yeah. I mean. They're all pertaining to spaces that I think Queenie has, uh, has acknowledged at one point or another she, they, that weren't made necessarily for her, or that she's not fitting into uh, mm -hmm. very well. And again, I, I think it kind of just feeds into the line about self-perception, how these microaggressions are like, you know, feeding her negative self-talk um, or the negative self-talk around her relationship or her friendships. And yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, I think the microaggressions in the show um, and how they're executed is really a nod to the way uh, uh, the UK treats race mm. and how we navigate that, because uh, ours is packaged a little bit differently, uh, but it still very much exists. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know it was, I didn't know that, I guess, that it was packaged differently. I think I just assumed it was the same everywhere. And that's on me, my self-perception. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so if, if Queenie was your girl, you know, in real life, what advice would you give her? Dion. Stop taking yourself so seriously. Yeah. yeah. Stop taking yourself so seriously. Um, I think I would tell her to get a grip mm. and hold it. It's not like she said, don't stop taking yourself so seriously. Yeah. Um, I would also allow her to, um, allow herself to sit in it a little bit more just stew in your thing mm -hmm. until you're sick of it because I think she was really trying to just get on with it yeah, like we all do like mm -hmm. yeah it, a lot of escapism and I was I would have just told her to stand still mm -hmm. for a second mm -hmm. exist and then move yeah. oh that's good advice that's great advice now is this series a limited series or will there potentially be other seasons and that is a question for Candice Cardi Williams. Yes. All right. Well, I of course I've got to ask this um, as the last question, but I'm just I'm sure you did. But did you guys read the book? And what were your thoughts when you read the book? Yeah, I read the book for sure. Once I was I read it throughout my audition process, and when I got the part, I read it again. And when we were shooting, I was reading it all the time. Mm -hmm. And yeah. yeah, I read it way off. I actually didn't have uh, a clue about the Queenie universe at all oh. <laughs> before I got called to play Chess K. Mm -hmm. And um, I didn't really, not that I didn't feel the need, but until I read the script, I was like, oh, this is fab. This is incredible. And Candice obviously was a showrunner, so I was asking her loads of questions as well. So I read it way after, but um, yes, I'm now involved. <laughs> Well, I want to thank you both for joining me today on Check the Rhymes. Queenie premieres Friday, June 7th. All, epi all episodes are dropping on Hulu at one time. I'm excited. I'm going to be sitting in front of the TV, probably binge watching because I can't just do one episode at a time once a week. <laughs> so thank you guys for, for that. Thank you. Um,